Hi everyone, my name is Mehmood Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a Dance Academy website using PHP, MySQL, jQuery and Bootstrap framework. In my last video I completed the functionality of developing the feature of adding skills in an instructor dashboard and now in this video I will discuss about developing the feature of uploading student profile. So whenever a student gets logged in that student needs to upload their profile then only the details of that student will start displaying in the admins dashboard then admin can view all the students in his dashboard so now in this video we will be going to discuss about uploading the student profile feature and before coming to this feature I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have any queries then just let me know in the comment section so now let us move on to our editor so here you can see i have created a file with the name upload student profile php and i have included the database configuration file in this uh, file and i have started the session and i have set some validations as well so that only the logged in user can access this file okay and here at the top i have included the header and at the bottom i have included the footer and there is a container uh, in which i have created two dues first due is of column three and second due is of column nine and I have included the student sidebar which is present under sidebar folder inside the three column due. Okay, and here you can see I have included the jQuery script which I have used to highlight the list items of currently selected file. Okay, and now we need to write down the HTML markup inside this nine column due. Okay, so here I have added an h3 tag to display an upload profile message and i have created a form with few attributes like method so i'm going to send a post request to this upload student profile php file which is the same file and uh, enc type i have set to multi-part slash form data because with this form i'm going to send data of multiple form that is text and image Next, I have created a class, a do with a class of box, and I have created a row with some inline styling. And one more do with a column 5, which has a further do with a class of form group, and I have created a label age and an input text box of type text, which has the attributes like name as age and placeholders. Now let's save it and let's refresh now you can see it started displaying the title as well as the text box similar to this text box i want to create one more text box inside the another five column due which i have created just beside this first five column due so that i can display that another text box here on the right side of this text box so here also i have taken a form group due a label gender and a drop down to display the gender okay i have set the name attribute to gender with few options like male and female save it refresh okay so this drop down started displaying and now i need to create one more row like this immediately after this row gets completed Okay. then a due with a column of 5 and another due with a class of form group to display the date of joining okay and i have created an input of type text with few attributes okay and one more due with a class of column 5 okay and a form group uh, and here inside this form group i am going to display the address uh, so i will be creating a text area to allow the 
student to enter their address save it okay so now uh, two elements started displaying date of joining and the address and next i will create one more row here okay so i have created the first five column view okay to display the upload image button which will be of type file and has the name as student name student image and one more row which is the last row to display the input type submit button okay and i have set the name attribute to submit student data okay save it and now when i refresh you will see our student upload profile form now gets completed okay so now we need to write the php code uh, with which we need to send a post request to our same upload student profile php file to store the details of the student inside the mysql table so here you can see i have given a name to the submit button as submit student data so i will use the same name in my php script to send a post request to the server so here you can see i have used submit student data which is the same name inside this if condition okay so if the user has entered all the details in this form and selected the image as well and when the user click on the upload profile button then control will come inside this if block then here i have collected all the details of that logged in student okay so like uh, i have got the details of student user id from the session and i have also got the name of the student who has logged in also from the session and have stored those two details inside these two variables okay and then i have also collected the age gender and address fields along with these five fields i have also collected the student role id also from the session once i collect all this information i also need to collect the information regarding the image which the student is trying to upload so here i have written uh, the required details of the image like image name and then student image size then temporary image and the location in which i'm going to store that image so i'm going to store the student image inside the uploads folder inside students folder and then image okay so i have created an uploads folder and in that upload folder i have a student folder and in this folder i'm going to store the image okay then date also date of joining okay and i want that date of joining to be in the form of year month and date then if user has selected the image that means the image field is not empty that means user has selected the image while uploading the profile and if the user has selected the image then i need to check for one more condition that is if the size of the image goes beyond the limit then i will be displaying a message as image file size is too large otherwise i will write an sql query which will insert this details like user id student name age gender address all these details which i have collected here these details i will pass to this sql query and then i will execute this sql query okay so if the if the query successfully gets executed then i will move the file which is the image of the student inside the folder and then once the data as well as the image successfully gets stored in the database then i will redirect the user back to the student dashboard php file now let's save it and let's refresh the page so now here let me just go to students table okay so right now you can see there are no records present inside the students table and now i will enter the details okay so now i will select an image okay so i have entered all the details and now when i click on upload profile then you will see it has taken me back to the student dashboard now when i uh, logged out and tries to log in 
as an admin and now when I click on login and click on the students now it should display me that particular details of the student okay so right now I have not done that feature so I will be doing that feature also in this video so before coming to this feature I just first check whether the record gets stored inside this table yes now you can see uh, the details like student ID user ID student name and all the other details like student image also st have stored inside the students table okay that means we have successfully managed to store the students details or upload the students profile inside our mysql table and now let's check out the folder okay so now earlier there was no image present inside this folder now since we have uploaded the student profile so now you can see the image is also stored inside this folder and now the thing which is left for us to do is we need to get this record from this student table and we need to display this record here in the admin dashboard so to do that here i have already created a file with the name students php and i have included the necessary common stuff like uh, database configuration file i have started the session and i have set the conditions here at the top so that only the authorized user can access this file i have included the header footer and also this javascript or jquery script okay uh, now here I, I need to again start a container and i have created two dues one is of three column and another is of nine column i have included the admin sidebar php file inside the three column due which is present under the sidebar folder now when i save it and refresh this page you will notice the sidebar started displaying okay so now when i click on this student link i should display a table in which all the registered students who have updated their profile in their dashboard should start a display okay so right now there is one student who has already registered and updated their profile so now i must display these details inside the table in the admin dashboard so here now let's come to our nine column view okay so let me just first create a header and i have created a table a table head and then header i want to display the details in the header like image student name age gender and address okay uh, next i have started the table body then i have written an sql query which will select all the details from the student table and then here i have executed this sql query if i found any record present inside the sql table then i will execute this if block otherwise i will execute the else block okay so if i found any records inside the students table then i will iterate iterate over each and every record then i will create a pr tag and a td okay to display the image okay so now here you can see there are, there are two possibilities okay uh, the first possibility is that the user might not had uploaded their profile picture uh, in that case i need to display the default image which is this one okay so if row student image equals equals to null that means if the student has not uploaded their image then in that case i will be displaying the default image which i have kept under the image folder which is again under the assets folder okay here there is an image img folder okay and there is an avatar.jpg file which is this one okay uh, but if the student has already uploaded their profile image then i will get that image from the table and started displaying here okay in the else portion so this is everything regarding the image and other details also like student name and then age of the student then gender of the student and also address of the students i will display okay let's save it and now let's refresh now you can see a heading along with the table with the uh, with the uh, suitable columns are started displaying okay now the next is uh, yes 
if there are no records present inside the students table then in that case obviously we need to show a message like no students registered yet but uh, we have already registered one student that's why this message will not display okay so now let's refresh the page okay so now in this video we have managed to uh, allow the student to update their profile in their dashboard and also we managed to get that details from the table and showing inside the admin dashboard like this uh, uh, if more and more students get registered and updated their profile then the details of each and every of those students will start displaying inside this table to the admin okay so this is everything about uh, developing the feature of updating the student profile and showing those students in the admin dashboard so uh, that's all for this video guys i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys understood each and every concept which we have discussed in this video uh, if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching